Hey guys, Jamie here with Journey North. A little warmer here today. Had some freezing fog roll in. But you see all this uh, stuck on here is mostly all frost. It's not snow, it's frost. I don't know if you can see the crystallization up close. Nice day here in Alaska. Sun's just going down. About 4.30 right now. I'm at work here. I'm gonna stoke the fire and uh, go do some personal stuff in the shop. See you there. I was given this little hatchet, so I got nothing into it. It's got a big metal wedge in it, but it's I I hammered it down just a hair to tighten it up. Real short little handle. We're looking at a this is a 12 inch handle, if that. Yep. I'll grab a tape here and check. Yep, 12. Cleaned up the head. Couldn't find uh, any marks on it. Temper line's right there, you can see. It's not too bad. Pretty narrow. Handle was nice, solid handle. I cleaned it up the best I could. I did shape it a little more. Pull a little more curve here, a little more here. A little swell on it. But uh, that's not the exciting part. We're going to try some of this. Fabric dye. We're going to go with teal because uh, it's the color I have. Use it to dye feathers and stuff when flying ties. Just happen to have some here at work. And uh, one of my daughter's favorite colors as well. Put a slight burn on here just to bring out some green. Will this turn this teal? It should, in theory. I've never done this before. So, uh, this is either going to turn out really nice, real shitty, or somewhere in between, which would be my guess. So, uh, let me mix some of this up without, uh, turning myself into Blue Man. Be right back. All right. I have done a lot of things in my life, but I've never dyed clothing on purpose before, or wood. I've stained, painted... Bunch of directions on here, but uh, it's late. I'm not going to read them. I know you can use water, vinegar, alcohol, paint thinner to mix up this. I'm just, I just got a little bit of hot water. And it's turning the water color. I don't know how much really to put in here. My guess would be more than I think. I don't know, it's getting pretty dark. But yeah, I'm gonna go more yet. It's getting, getting that color, huh? Eh, I don't know. My gut tells me to use less. But the man portion of me tells me to use more. So more it is, more wins. Well, stir it up good. I don't know if you're supposed to let it sit. I don't know, we're just gonna paint it on. I know you want it to soak in. It's not like a paint or a stain. You, you gotta let it soak in. That's how it works.
It's kind of a cool color so far. Not something I normally do. I like the, the vintage look, but uh, this color here is really popular with uh, with people right now. I know my daughter tries to get everything she can in that kind of light blue teal color. But she'll probably, she hates when I do axe videos. Tells me it's boring. I don't know what she wants me to. Wants me to film just for her or what? But uh, maybe maybe she'll watch this one. We mixed up way too much dye. I could I got enough to do in a damn rocking chair. I'm gonna put that in the mental note for next time. It doesn't take uh, that much water. Could have got by with a lot less powdered dye. I'm gonna let, let that dry and then I'll uh, come back and get some a little better footage of it. See if we messed it up or if it looks alright. Well, it's been drying a little bit here. Enough where you can touch and not get your hands teal. I'm gonna just take a little bit of scotch braid here, which is very fine. And just do a light once over on it. Why? Because I just thought it sounded like a good idea. There's no real rhyme or reason behind it, but it does take the brightness off of it. And we're going to put a little oil on it and see what it looks like. I don't think it was a fail, but like I said, it's not, uh, not as, uh, not my thing. I like the old style look a little better, but... Put some oil on it and see what it looks like. Like I said, this was an old handle, so it's got uh, got some mar the marks in it. Like there's a stain there. Should have sanded maybe a little deeper. You can see where there's a little bit of pieces left on it. Them pieces got a little bit darker, but I wanted to do it. I didn't want to do it on a brand new handle. I wanted to test it out and see what it looked like. So uh, let's uh, put a little oil on. I'm just going to use a little all-purpose oil on this one. See what it looks like. Got a nice little squirt bottle here. A lot of the stuff here is old vintage stuff that you can't get anymore. Everything now comes in such cheap little bottles, but uh, that one there's kind of nice. I like it. I can tell right off the bat that's put a little bit of shine to it, which makes it look a little bit nicer. Brought out a little more though, the wood underneath. Came out a little more green than blue, I think, especially after I added that oil. It was a good test run. That's using red dye, fabric dye on on hickory. I know lighter wood, the the grains will show up better after you burn them. Hardwood just doesn't show up that well, but uh, some different. I don't know. Maybe give it a whirl. Try it with a hammer handle, shovel, whatever you want. Red dye is cheap. A lot of you I already have that in the cabinet. Something different anyways.
Give it a whirl, guys. Catch you on the next one. Take her easy.